major cybersecurity breach at 23andMe led to personal information for millions of people going up for sale on the dark web. And many of the victims were Jew. What if we told you that something as personal as your DNA might not be as safe as you think? That the very thing you submitted to find out if you're related to kings, or if your ancestors were goat herders, could be causing a massive privacy nightmare? In this video, we'll dig into one of the most controversial names in genetic testing, 23andMe. We'll take you through their rise, their fall, the scandals, the data breaches, and yes, the very real concerns over the fate of your DNA. Stick around because by the end, we'll share exactly what you can do to protect your genetic information from being sold or exposed. So, genetic testing kits. Cool, right? Who wouldn't want to know their ancestral roots? When 23andMe first came on the scene, it felt like something straight out of a science fiction movie. An easy, at-home DNA test that could reveal everything from your family tree to your risk of developing certain health conditions. And all you had to do was spit in a tube and mail it off. Convenience at its finest. But, as convenient as it was, not everything was as it seemed. What started as an intriguing service for people wanting to learn about their ancestry turned into a scandalous mess. Some consider this red flag one. While 23andMe started as an ancestry-focused service, they quickly pivoted to include health insights. They told us they could predict our risk for diseases like diabetes, Alzheimer's, and even cancer. Well, here's the kicker. These health insights were often vague, incomplete, and mostly useless. Sure, you might find out you're at risk for something, but the results were often too generic to make any meaningful medical decisions. You didn't get actionable advice from a doctor, just a generic risk factor. In some cases, they even offered cancer screening results, without the necessary support of genetic counselors to explain what it all meant. So, what's the takeaway here? These tests might have sparked your curiosity, but they weren't exactly the future of healthcare we were promised. Now let's talk about the scandals. Remember when they were valued at $6 billion and everyone thought they were on top of the world? Well, that didn't last. The company faced many major setbacks, including the resignation of all its board members and plans to lay off 40% of its employees. Oh, and the FDA wasn't too thrilled with their health-related tests either. After an intense battle, 23andMe was banned from offering health tests for a while due to concerns that the results were misleading. Eventually, they were allowed to offer them again, under the condition that they included heavy disclaimers. But by then, the damage was done. If you thought the controversy around the health tests was bad, hold on. In 2023, the company suffered a massive data breach that exposed the personal data of around 7 million users. Hackers were able to access personal and ancestry data by exploiting weak passwords that users had reused across other sites. Now, while the hackers didn't steal full genetic profiles, the fact that they were able to access personal information, especially targeting people with Chinese or Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry, raises a huge red flag. This data was then sold on the dark web. Lovely. One of the more concerning issues is that 23andMe also shared its users' genetic data with third parties, like pharmaceutical companies and insurance firms in the name of research. And guess what? Initially, users were opted in by default. They've since changed their policy and now require explicit consent. But here's the thing. They can change these policies whenever they want. And since 23andMe isn't a healthcare provider, it's not bound by HIPAA laws, meaning there's a huge gap in legal protections when it comes to your genetic data. To make matters worse, while health insurance companies are prohibited from discriminating based on genetic data, other types of insurance, like disability or long-term care insurance, can still use your genetic info to determine premiums. So, yeah, privacy is a big issue. On March 23, 2025, 23andMe filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy with intentions to sell most of its assets. CEO Ann Wojcicki resigned on the same day. Now, we know what you're probably thinking. Great, so I've already sent my DNA in. What can I do now? The good news is, there are steps you can take to protect yourself. First, log into your 23andMe account and revoke consent for sharing your genetic data with third parties. That's step one. Then, consider deleting your genetic data entirely. How to delete your data? Log into your account, go to Settings, go to 23andMe Data, select Delete Data, enter your date of birth, 
download your data to your device, then select Delete Data. So, what do you do if deleting your data doesn't work? Contact your state attorney general. Yes, really, they've been stepping in to help consumers in situations like this. We get it. Some of you are still really curious about your ancestry. Don't let this bum you out. There are alternatives for exploring your ancestry and genetics without putting your personal data at risk. You can still use genealogy websites that don't require a DNA sample or look into more secure, medical-grade genetic testing options. As for 23andMe, well, they're trying to pivot. They've announced that they'll be focusing on obesity treatments through telehealth and they might be going private soon. So, here's the bottom line. Sending your DNA to 23andMe or any genetic testing site might seem like an exciting adventure, but in the end, it's clear that genetic privacy is a serious issue. From data breaches to the potential for your personal information to be sold to the highest bidder, it's more important than ever to be vigilant. Folks, if you found this video informative, hit the like button. Subscribe so you don't miss out. We're pumping out some of the best free tips to help our viewers improve their lives. Don't forget to send in your anonymous tips, either through the chat or email, for a chance to win an Amazon gift card. Stay safe out there.